Welcome back guys to another episode of Boost Wanted. In today's video we have the D16Z6 Turbo Civic. And then we have the transmission on the ground. Well actually it's on the jack, but it's still not in the engine bay and on the ground. So the main problem you might be having is sometimes the transmission grinds or it doesn't want to go into gear or it just doesn't feel right. Now the problem is not the transmission itself or the clutch, but it is actually the clutch fork. Now this clutch fork is pretty new. I got it out of another transmission and just got a new throw out bearing for it. But let me show you the old one. So guys, over here, we have the old clutch fork. This thing is, uh, it's, it's done. It's completely fried. Check out that crack and the old throttle bearing it's actually not in bad condition but with that crack and the age of the transmission itself i didn't really want to reuse the throttle bearing so i went and picked up a new throttle bearing and then a new clutch fork so the way this assembly works is you have your pressure plate the teeth of it sit against this arm over here lets it spin a little bit and when you press the clutch in you have a slave cylinder over here with a rod that pushes this fork in and this little pivot arm pushes this pressure plate uh, teeth inwards that way the pressure plate and the clutch assembly can disconnect as you can see the old clutch fork and the new clutch fork are basically the same this one they both say p20 on it But this one is a little bit different from this one just because of the way that the uh, little mounting bracket sits in there and the way it's designed. It looks like it's just kind of flipped backwards. Overall, they are identical besides, I mean, that difference. And this is the new throwout bearing. And this is the old throwout bearing. If you spin them, you can feel a little bit of resistance, but it's not too bad. This one, on the other hand, feels a lot better, a lot smoother, but it almost feels the same as this. So guys, the way to throw a new fork and throw a bearing in is slide the fork through the hole. The pivot ball goes inside this little joint. But before you do that, go ahead and throw your throw out bearing on. There we go. All right, so the new throw out bearing is on, new clutch fork is on. I'm gonna go get a little bit more coffee and then start throwing this thing back together. <laughs> 